Hello folks, this is 2011, October, November, paper 2-1, and the question number is 4, and the question is once again related to the chapter of work, energy, and power. So the first question says, uh, distinguish between uh, gravitational potential energy and uh, uh, electric potential energy. So both of them are potential energies, but one, one, one of them is in the gravitational field and the another is in the electric field. So the first one should be uh, the energy stored, energy stored when mass... Uh, uh, is moved inside the gravitational field and the second should be the energy stored in a charged body uh, charged body when it moves in an electric field so number b a body of mass m moves vertically through a distance h near the earth's surface use the defining equation for work done to derive an expression for the gravitational potential energy change of the body so the change in gravitational potential energy should be equal to uh, work done work done by the system when it uh, falls through height h so that is uh, equal to is equal to force into uh, distance there and the force is equal to mg h so the value of gravitational force is equal to mg h and so that's why delta uh, gp is equal to mg into the height traveled now in uh, number c we are given a situation in which uh, water flows down a stream from a reservoir and then causes a water wheel to rotate so this wheel so water flows through here and it causes wheel through like this as shown in figure 4.1 as the water falls through a vertical height of 120 meters so it's equal to h equal to 120 meters gravitational potential energy is converted to different forms of energy including kinetic energy of water of the water as the uh, at the water wheel the kinetic energy of the water is only 10% of its uh, gravitational potential energy at the reservoir. So, the Ke here is equal to 10% of the Pe here. So, with that data we have to find, show that the speed of the water as it reaches the wheel is 15 meters per second. So, that means what we have, we're having is the Ke here, Ke at the uh, bottom, Ke at the bottom is equal to 10% of, of Pe PE at the top, PE at the top, simply I can write PE top, so which means that or I can say 1 by 2 mass into V square where V is the velocity here, v is the velocity of water here is equal to 0 0.10 into mgh, so mm uh, cancels, so what I will have is, what I will have is or V square is equal to uh, equal to 2 goes here it is uh, 0 0.20 g h and uh, v is equal to root of 0 0.20 g h so this will be equal to 0 0.20 into 9.81 into the height is equal to 120 meters and root here so it will give, give me um, so 0 0.20 into 9.81 into 120 equal to and then it's a uh, uh, root square root is equal to so this comes to be equal to 15.344 meter per second second and according to the given qu condition it is nearby equal to 15 meter per second now the next question is the rotating water wheel uh, used to uh, is used to produce electricity and that is uh, it is given as 110 kilowatt of electric power power calculate the mass of water flowing per second through the wheel through the wheel so mass of water coming through the wheel assuming that the production of electric energy from ke of water is 25 percent efficient so that means power electric power electric is equal to efficiency into into power due to uh, power due to uh, kinetic energy of water so this thing is equal to electric is equal to 110 kilowatts so it is 110 0g0 into efficiency is 25 uh, percent so it's equal to equal to equal to equal to 0 0.25 and the power due to k is equal to is equal to uh, into so it is a transformation of ke let us say delta ke divided by the time duration and this delta ke is equal to k is equal to here it has some ke and here it becomes zero so that's it's equal to simply 
simply a uh, 0 0.25 into 1 by 2 m v square minus 0 by time and that's equal to 0 0.25 into 1 by 2 m by t and then v square so what we have to find here is m by t m by t is the rate of flow of uh, water in terms of mass per second so rate can be of two types one is volume per second volume per unit, unit time and another is mass per unit time so here what we have to find is mass per unit time so 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 this m by t will be equal to uh, so this is one one zero 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 so from here i will have m by t is equal to one one zero 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 into this two goes here two divided 0 0.25 into v square and that's equal to 110000 into 2 divided 0 0.25 into this v square is equal to as you got from the uh, previous question here it is 15.344 square so it is 15.344 square so when i uh, press this in the calculator its value will be equal to so one one zero 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 into two divided whole bracket uh, zero point two five into one point three four four square very close equal to equal equals so the value comes to be equal to equal equal to it is a three seven three eight three seven three eight kg per second so when I express this in uh, either two or three SF let me use three SF here as according to the uh, question here so it will be equal to 3740 kg per second so the rate of flow of water should be 3.3740 kg per second which means it is 3.74 tons per second metric tons per second this is really a huge amount of water the, the rate itself is very very huge